So in this video, we'll just try to run this flow, right? Checking, you know, uh, the file exists or not, and then calling your data preprocessing aggregation, and you know, finally creating the table in the MySQL database, right? So first, we'll make sure that there are no files. So yeah, this is our input file, and your final file will come here. OP files, we don't have any any here. Now let's learn our DAG. Okay. I'm just running it. We'll open this, right? The check file is success. Now it went to the pre-processing and the pre-process also success as the pre, yeah. Did you see this? The OR1 file got created and that's what we are doing here, right? Once we are doing the basic data pre-processing in the same folder, we are writing in a different file name. And once even this aggregation steps is also completed in the output folder, we are writing fin.csv. That's the file name we have given. Let's refresh this. Yeah, it got even the aggregation and creating the table got success, right? So now, yeah, we'll go here. OP file. Yes. Great. We see the file here. And what we need to do next, we need to check if the table is created or not. How to do that? <coughs> yeah. We already seen how to you know install MySQL all the stuff using Docker. This is our uh, you know uh, the Docker screen. You should come to the containers and this is the MySQL. You have CLI here, which is command line interface. Go here and yeah, type MySQL user root and password is root, right? So I'm using uh, MySQL schema, <coughs> right? Now select star from, what is the table name we have given? We have given A-G-G-R-E underscore R-E-S. A-G-G-R-E underscore R-E-S. Did you see empty set, which means the table is created successfully, right? Now, awesome, right? With just the simple step, we have did three different tasks, I mean four tasks, right? Checking the file, pre-processing, aggregation, reading table, right? And also we have seen, you know, how can you log into, uh, you know, the command line using Docker. At the same time, right, in this, I was telling, right, these files will be actually synced into a Docker container also, right? I'll also show you that. And this is the container for our uh, Apache Airflow right this is the container where our apache airflow is deployed now i can log in here did you see ls list of files did you see we have the same set of folder structure here dax if you see dax i'm going inside to the dax let me i can zoom in yes did you see all these files we have i'm coming one step back and i'm going under ip underscore files LS. Did you see? We have two files here. Now, just for trying, I'm just copying and pasting it again. Now, if you come here and say LS, did you see? It's so instant, right? That's called mounting. You're mounting uh, the folder in your Windows operating system to the Linux operating system. So, hope you enjoy this video. In in our next video. We'll, we'll see how to insert the records into our table.